Hey, Ready Up Live, you may have heard this news already, but I figured I would weigh in on it. Frank O'Connor from 343 has stated that they will double down on Master Chief's story moving forward. In an interview with Games TM Magazine, Frank dives into the reception of Halo 5 and Halo 5's marketing and talks about where we're going. We took some digs for storytelling in Halo 5, but they were absolutely merited. We very much realized that people wanted Master Chief's story of Halo 5. We definitely marketed in a way that we hoped was going to bring surprise, but for some fans and certainly fans of Master Chief, it was a huge disappointment because they wanted more Chief. They loved Blue Team, they liked Osiris, but they wanted Chief. And that has been a big learning. Chief we tend to think of as kind of a vessel for your adventure rather than necessarily this major character in the universe. He's really just your entry into the universe. But people have become attached to him over the last 15 years, and they've started to sort of fill in the gaps that the character deliberately has for gameplay reasons with a genuine emotional attachment. We certainly underestimated that with Halo 5. The effect that the character has on his surroundings and the fate of the galaxy has had a resonant effect on fans over the years. It wasn't that surprising to me, but the volume of Give Us More Chief at the end of Halo 5 was significant. And so I think, if anything, he's slightly more important now than he has ever been, certainly to our franchise. Instead of focusing on bringing new characters into the world and expanding the playable characters, we've sort of shifted the focus a little bit to making the world a little bit more realistic and compelling and, I would say, more fun for players who get to inhabit the Chief in the future, pretty much as they demanded. There's always a call and response element of shipping a game. You have to ship improvements, you have to ship tweaks, and you have to ship changes, and sometimes you have to walk some of those back. Doubling down a Master Chief story and the amount of focus on him was probably the easiest learning from Halo 5. That was a really simple thing to absorb and embrace. They loved Blue Team, they liked Osiris. I don't think many people really liked Osiris. Buck carries Osiris. Vale is, she could have been rad. Here's my big question. Are they going to go with that co-op four-player format again? I don't want them to, but something, something tells me they will again. They only tried it once, why wouldn't they go for it again? I don't think there's any real reason to shoehorn story into a feature. I don't care that I'm playing beside three other Master Chiefs. I don't think anybody really cares. Obviously, when you play in co-op, that's not canon. Sure, bring in other Spartans, bring in other characters or whatever, but yeah, that's not, that's not the true story there. I don't think anybody really cares. When you focus on four characters rather than one, there's not enough time for exposition of those characters. We don't get to learn who each and every character are. We don't get to love them. I mean, Halo Reach is a prime example of this. I know in recent years, for some reason, Halo Reach is now praised again, but but that game did not do a great job of making you attach to the characters. They just kind of offed them one by one. Oh well, they're gone, I guess. Same with Halo 5. I mean, damn, the, the intro to Halo 5. Julam Dama, the super important character in Halo 4 and in Spartan Ops, and, oh, is, and that's it, and he's gone. Even the enemies just get offed, and I don't even care about them. Can you honestly tell me that if Tanaka just got sniped in the head and died that you would really care? I don't think anybody would care. So while they say they're doubling down on Chief here, I don't doubt that. I don't think they're lying by any means. I think we're definitely going to see a lot more Chief and a lot more Blue Team. But that's my issue there, is are we going to see all of Blue Team? Are we going to see Osiris again? Like, are we all going to be together? Are we going to have all these characters all over? Like, look, I love having more characters. Like, that's every good universe needs to expand. You need to have other characters in that universe. And Halo 5 certainly at least kind of started doing that and introducing you to the other characters. But while having Chief in there, I think you pretty much need to have a completely separate installment in the franchise. Something like Reach, right? Where you're not focusing on Chief, you're not focusing on Blue Team. If Halo 5 was only Osiris, it might have been better campaign-wise. Separate yourself from your love of Master Chief and such, because you need to build the universe around Chief to appreciate playing as Chief that much more. Every major, especially sci-fi franchises, do a great job at this. Just take a look at Star Wars, take a look at Star Trek, take a look at all of the Mass Effect. You need to build this world. There's amazing stories and amazing characters everywhere that I don't only want to see Chief. For Halo 6 or whatever, you know, Halo... Covenant, Halo, The Flood Returns, whatever the balls this game is going to be called, I'm down for another Chief game. I'm down to only focus on Chief or only focus on Blue Team. But for the next game, can we not for a minute? Can we find something else? Can we have a spin-off or something? Can we have ODST 2? I know I've gotten flack from it before by saying I'm bored of Chief. I am. That doesn't mean I necessarily want to just off him right away as much as I want to explore more. There are way more stories to tell. I want to see other sides of this universe and just 
put Chief aside for a little bit, but not how Halo 5 did it. Not giving me a glimpse into Chief and then making me want to play more. Give us a full game of Chief and then give me a spin-off. Give me another one where I can I can see a different side of the story. Then give me some deep Chief lore again. Trying to combine all of those elements in a mediocre campaign a la Halo 5 is not going to do it. There's too much to juggle there. So in summary, I do have a feeling that we're going to be playing as blue team in the next Halo game, or a team for that matter. But can we have that be the last time we do this? Can we go back to playing as a single character, as only Master Chief? It was a neat idea. It didn't work. No more of that, please. Especially not unless you can get the AI to not be awful. In other news, there's a big team battle update on Halo 5. There's Assault in Big Team, which is super fun. Bunch of new maps, bunch of variety. But how have we not tried Magnum Starts yet? I can't believe we're still using BR Starts in Big Team. This is one of those topics that BR Starts in Halo 5 objectively does not work in any game mode. The game has to be built around that. I honestly have a very strong feeling that Halo 6 will have BR Starts. Because the game will be made for BR Starts. Halo 5 is not made for BR starts. It is made for Magnum starts. You can't just switch it to have a B. It doesn't work. Like, it objectively does not work. It's too... They're too strong. They're too strong. But mark my words, Halo 6 will have BR starts. People want it. It'll happen. Hopefully without a stupid scope on them. Anywho, I, I, I don't like Halo 5 big team. It just oh, it doesn't do it for me. And BR starts is a big issue there. That rant out of the way, I will be streaming on Beam uh, right now. If you watch this video, this video came out recently. Playing some big teams, so come join me, beam.pro slash greenskull. See you there. Let's play some Halo. Let's get salty in big team. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next video.